My name is Logan Lyons, and I am an Ag Science and Leadership major, and I live in San Angelo, Texas. Today, I'm going to be investing a pitch to you over the company Build-A-Bear Workshop, um, where you bring a furry friend to life. And I chose this as my investor pitch because over this past week, I went to Build-A-Bear Workshop and made my own furry friend. And I have been doing so since I was about three years old, and I have quite a collection. And I will say I have seen this company grow and change over the years. And a little bit about this company and their background is that the founder is Maxine Clark, who actually stepped down as her head position to work with kids um, in the elementary school grade level. And currently, the CEO is Sharon Price John who has been in this position since 2013 and holds it present. Um, and it created the term experiential retail um, because it creates emotional connections between the customer and the retail experience. They're experiencing the retail side of the customer's emotions, basically. Um, Build-A-Bear was created in October um, of 1997 on a Sunday where the first store opened in St. Louis Galleria Mall. And the headquarters for this um, corporation is actually in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, and they have over 400 locations currently. That brings us to this company makes money. So they have finances. Um, as of today, the stock market closed at, of course, 4 p.m., and um, now that it's closed, it is grossing their um, stock at 21.41 U.S. dollars. And their revenue as of January 2023 is $145.11 million. And their net income as of January 2023 as well is um, $20.51 million. So um, Right now, looking at that number on stocks, it's lower than the average, and it's decreasing. So that's what the stocks are doing. Um, as of everything else, I think that the revenue and the income looks pretty well, considering their products and services. So um, they offer charitable giving, and they do donations and foundation work which is great for a company, gives it a good brand. Um, you bring your furry friends to life. That's all the services and products they offer. Um, you can buy your bear clothing and accessories. And their mission statement is to empower kids to express themselves in a safe place. So by putting that heart in that bear, you're creating an experience in itself and then celebrating the heart of childhood. So this is an experience for children altogether. And that brings us to strengths and weaknesses. So strengths are there are not a lot of competitors in the market, which is why we have those amazing revenue and net income numbers. And the weaknesses are, I, in my opinion, this is a weakness, unfair price point. So when I did go in there, they offer a few online deals, not really in-store deals. And um, somebody in the American working class uh, does not really, I, I didn't really have um, enough money to invest in the things I wanted to buy at the store. I did feasibly manage to buy what I wanted, um, but I don't think it was at a per pot fair price considering that they don't have a lot of other competitors. Um, and they also have a lot of employment opportunities within the company considering they have over 400 locations. I propose that um, they bring back the full customer experience. So for an example would be the bath washing tubs. When I was younger, it was just, it added to the experience of creating your bear. And um, cost-wise, you know, it might not be efficient because they would have to add them and build them back into the stores. That costs a lot of um, air and um, tank costs to fill the air tanks and electricity, and um, that adds to deposits on utilities for the store. Um, and then also maybe a more in-depth personal choice, like um, being able to pick what eyes you want to put on your bear and the color of them. Um, 
so thank you for listening to my present presentation. And that's what I um suppose that we do to um better the corporation more so as what it's doing even now. And these are the references I have included in my presentation. Thank you for watching.